everybody. It is Angie, Treasured Vintage. I am live. I am a few minutes late. Sorry. Um, yes, uh, but I'm so excited because uh, I'm, I'm a little late because I had to open this huge box. I mean, the box that Lonnie sent me that has the vintage radio in it that Dawn got me is so the radio is so awesome and the box was like quadruple shanta hi uh the box was like it was the radio i'm sorry i'm just excited the radio was quadruple boxed dawn <laughs> i i had to get it out of that box first and it was like eight million four hundred thousand peanuts in there you packed it so great. I packed it. You know, whatever. I, I mean, that thing could be shot out of a cannon, Lonnie. And here it is. Etta. Hi. Hi, Etta. Here it is. I'm going to un unwrap it right now. Refresh. Yeah, refresh. Are you having problems with the uh, feed? Hi, Princess Casserole. Hey, Monica. Is Monica in here? Oh, Monica B. Hi, Monica B. Oh, my gosh. This thing's a beauty. Dawn, thank you so much. Carla, Lonnie. Yo. And I just love maple, too. Maple is just so pretty. Such a pretty wood. Lonnie, where did you get this thing? Did you get it at a yard sale or something? Or where did, where did it come from? I don't even remember seeing it ever before, like in any of your halls or anything. Exceptional treasures. That's Monica Bravo, I think. Oh, man. I just want to rip it. I just want to rip it, but I want to use the bubble wrap over again. Yes, Monica D. Hey, Real Liquidation. How are you doing? A, a yard sale, yes. Oh, my gosh. Here it is. It's out. It has escaped. It has escaped the bubble wrap. Oh, Lonnie. Oh, my gosh, Dawn. Oh, it's everything and more. It is everything and more. Oh, it's so beautiful. Thank you so much, Dawn. Hey, Mike. Thinking of you, buddy. Thinking of you. Hi, Debbie Keith. I know everything about it I love. I love this. I love the speaker fabric. I love the wood. I love the little dots in the back. It's nice. It looks like a piece of furniture, like the old TVs. It's perfect for Angie, Dawn. It is. It's like perfect. You're getting ready to go to Goodwill with your mom and your daughter. Have I hope you get some good stuff. Look at that up close. I love it. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love it. And that's going to be playing some New Jack Swing, let me tell you that. <laughs> I already heard when Lonnie was like flipping that around, I, I heard some of my music on there. So I know it's capable of playing that. <laughs> the condition is amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so, 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 so much. Now where is Monica? Because this is her jewelry that's coming up. Hey Libby. New Jack Swing, baby. Word. You got it. I might be old, but I'm not dead. <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I can still do the running man and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm funny. What can I say? I'm, I'm, I'm a young 63. Hey, Stephen Steph. You missed the... Did you miss my radio? It came in this, the box was just so big, I couldn't even believe it. The box was like, 
And it was like a box, and then it was fitted in another box, and then another box, and then another box. No, I'm not doing it. I, I can't do it. I can't. I probably I probably just overestimated that, Lonnie. I, I probably can't really do the running man. <laughs> I can do my version of it. I can't do it. You want to see Angie doing the centipede? How about this? That's I forget what that's called. <laughs> but I can do it better. Awesome. I'll catch the replay. Okay. All righty. <clears throat> that cool grind. <laughs> okay. On to other stuff. So here is the... Um, nobody wants to see me doing the old school dancing. Uh, the running man. <laughs> Hi, Maria. Or uh, Marie. So this uh, Monica's jewelry jar that I won in the auction. Um, Merry Christmas City thrifter and reseller. The Cabbage Patch. That's it. That's what it was, Helen. Um, nice to see you. This is actually a vintage Monet. And this is one of the favorite pieces that came out of the jewelry jar that I, that I got from... Hi, Thelma. It looked like a great jar. Um, yeah, it was actually, um, um, it's going to be kind of a test for me because, uh, it's full, it was full of necklaces. There was all necklaces. There was two, two bracelets, one ring. Uh, the whole rest was necklaces. I'm pretty sure. Um, it seems like there was some stray, other stray thing in there, but yeah, I'm 14 what am I doing here? I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> but thank you for coming. Welcome. <laughs> anyway, this is, a, this is a very, very nice piece. It's in my shop already. And uh, it's wonderful. And uh, this I had to uh, repair, but um, I think it's pretty cool. It's not signed or anything. And it took me a while to figure it out. But after I figured it out, I'm like, yeah, I can sell that piece. Hi, Kathleen. It's very a very intricate type of uh, bib. Angie, I saw last night in your shop. It's a very nice necklace. Oh, you looked, Kathleen. Yeah, it is a nice necklace. Do you think that selling jewelry through Facebook would work? Yeah, it's worked for some people. So this is very, very... I don't know. Is it boho? Is it, uh, I don't know. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that something? It's really something, isn't it? So that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of necklace there. <laughs> Exotic. That's a good word. I'm putting up all kinds of lots. Gypsy. Yeah. Statement necklace for sure. So ornate. I'm going to have to watch this back and catch all those keywords. Mr. T's jealous of that piece. <laughs> yeah. What's the thing that he says? Uh, I dare you. What, what does, what's Mr. T say? I dare you to whatever, do that or something. Chasm, chasm. Yeah, promote it as gypsy. It would be a great piece for a gypsy Halloween costume or something. Pity the fool. <laughs> That's it. I pity the fool. <laughs> I like that. Uh, this is a cute piece. This will sell. I, I just like the way this is made. Um, I'm surprised it's not signed. Um, but it's pretty. You have a vintage Mr. T doll, and my husband won't let me sell it. <laughs> ah, in a nice way. <laughs> How do you start selling on Facebook? All comments, comments welcome. Um, we are cracking up at Lonnie. We are, aren't we? Lots of you were right about if it's gaudy, it will sell. That's right. I have surprisingly sold some gaudy jewelry. Yeah, I still have hopes for this really gaudy necklace. The one that I wore on the water cooler show that one time. So, <laughs> I don't know. I still have it listed. It's not listed for very much either. So this is a ship necklace that I thought was kind of different. So, um, it's kind of a cool piece. Ship. 
still don't know what what you're doing. Well, I, yeah, the MSP uh, stands for uh, the Mothership Products. So you you typed in MSP, but you got the wrong MSP. <laughs> Tell me, you got to show us that doll sometime. Yes, you do. How do you figure out how to price jewelry? Um, I Google it, and well, I I put in the description into eBay and Etsy, and I see if there's anything similar. Hey, Dwayne, and I go off of that price. Um, and if I if it's a designer piece, I'll know to price it higher. Uh, if it's a well-made piece, very very well constructed, I'll know to price it higher. <coughs> This is a pretty nice piece. I don't think that the uh, turquoise are real because these are plastic, but it's really pretty. I like the way it looks. I like the two uh, mediums together. If you would call that mediums, I don't know. But I like that together and, hey, hey Jane, how are you? It's got a nice clip on it, so. Uh, actually, I think the clip is marked. I remember to bring my thing. Hey, Sadie. How you doing? P pretty colors. Agree. Not real, but pretty color. Yeah. It's either marked or just has a little bit of a wear on it. And it's wear. It's not marked. So, yeah, I just like those colors together. <clears throat> on the same lines there's this no game room but cool people yeah oh gosh I have a designer piece 14 karat two two karat diamond and I can't find the price oh well maybe take it to a jeweler maybe that would be an option for you I did find some sterling in here uh, this is marked uh, on the ends uh, 925 Italy so it's a nice little Pretty little lightweight bracelet with uh, little ovoid balls on it, like beads. Um, it's very pretty. I like it. I might wear it. But on the uh, on here, on here, it's marked nine two five Italy. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks for stopping in. Anyway, hope you find where you were looking for. <clears throat> and then I also found a sterling I'm pretty sure this is a sterling chain uh, the clasp is silver on it too yes the clasp everything seemed like it was well I don't well maybe that was maybe the lobster claw wasn't I forget something I I think it was this I tested that or I had the magnet on it and it is not magnetic and it really looks like sterling. I think it's sterling, but the clasp did not, um, it did attract the magnet. So <clears throat> I'll have to take that to my guy and have it checked out. <coughs> I should bring something over to drink while I'm doing this. I always get a scratchy throat. Okay, this is really cool. Hey, Bonnie, I really like this. This is another, another um, of my favorite pieces out of there. Uh, if I have to sell a necklace, this is the kind of stuff I want to sell. This is very, very cool. Uh, I've taken pictures of this, but I, I don't think I've... No, I haven't put it in my shop yet. Um, oh, you came here for a game, too. I'm going to have to stop putting that in my title, I guess, because it's apparently it's a, it's a gaming thing. Uh, someone else was just here that was looking for the game, too. <laughs> isn't this pretty special can you see it I'm not holding it too close am I sometimes I get too close and then it gets blurry but um I really like this can you put the coins closer they aren't they don't really have uh, a face or anything on there it's just a lot of textured design Bonnie It's just a lot of textured design on there. There's no words or, or anything. So they're definitely like faux, 
faux, made to look like coins. What the heck is going on, Lonnie he said. <laughs> They're looking for, <laughs> you're looking for game, gaming things. What's the other, the other side looks exactly the same. In fact, I have trouble figuring out which side is which. It, it almost seems like it's interchangeable. <coughs> Yeah, they're not coins. It almost seems like you can uh, put it on either way. Um, they, they both look exactly the same. Yeah, I got a few extra views. <laughs> Better start gaming. <laughs> <coughs> that could cover up all that business right there. Maybe I should wear it up here. There we go. I'm in my, I'm in my 50s again. What do you know? You're back? What are you back for? There's no games going on here. <laughs> I hope at least they click the like button. <laughs> ah, that is beautiful. It would be cute with a belly. Angie, you're too funny. Uh, well, they were polite. Yeah, they were polite. <laughs> here's a here's one of the bracelets. <clears throat> uh, I think I, I said there's, there was two bracelets. You saw the silver one. And then there's this one that has elephants on it. I'll click and, and like, unsubscri like and subscribe. Hey, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So this is cute. There's probably uh, some like this out there. Yeah, it's better than the soda trolls. <laughs> I remember them. Um, there's probably some elephant ones like that out there, but... That's cute. I like that. <coughs> this is a true antique here, and I had to repair it too. Oh, Princess Casserole, she asked, what is a soda troll? We, we were on the MSP auction show one night, and uh, I don't know, somebody, somebody came in that they kept coming back, and they were trolls, and they were naming themselves after soda. Isn't that right? They were they were calling themselves Dr. Pepper and all kinds of different sodas. I think. I think that's what it was. This is like a, a little choker. Yeah, I know. It was really weird. They were trolls. Uh, I have to check this. It might be. And maybe it's gold filled. You did miss a you missed the best necklaces that came that were in there. You missed a little bit. <coughs> They went to the trouble of actually having icons of the soda. That's right, they did. So can you see this? This is one of my favorite. It's very short, though. It's a very short choker, but it's actually it's actually an, an antique. So that's, that's cool. Oh, Jackie, hi. How are you? Yeah, this is very, this is the oldest piece that was in there. It's very, very short. Somebody for, that has a neck even... You know, it's smaller than my neck. But it's cool. It's not marked or anything. Put that one on your neck. It's too small. It's actually, it'll fit. It's going to be like really tight. There. There. It's on, but look. <laughs> it's like, it's like digging into my jugular vein. <laughs> Excuse me. And I got the coveted Avon. <laughs> I got an Avon piece. But this is very pretty. I like it a lot. Um, it didn't look like uh, what I would think would be Avon at all. But it, it's really nice. I like the style of it. It's very simple and it has that rhinestone uh, like disco ball there kind of. Only it's like a dome. Oh, okay. I'm sure my grandma has something like that. Really? Cool. I believe you're right about that. Jackie, I believe you're right about that. I'm not sure what Jackie's right about, but I do like this. I like that. I'll be able to sell that. I'm going through first the things that, um, the things that I think I can sell, but they're... There are some bags here. There's a whole bag of there's a whole bag of stuff that was broke. I think it's this bag here. Broke or missing stones or otherwise can't sell. 
and stuff that I don't want to sell and then stuff that stuff that I can sell was in was in here oh yeah the Victorian days people well you know they wore those corsets and and their their uh, waist looked like they were about that big so you know everything was smaller Debbie I don't replace rhinestones um yeah, that's right, Leslie. I could use could use an extender. Am I hiding? Monica, are you hiding? Hi. Hey, hi, Sue. How are you? What do you mean, Monica? You're hiding? So this is a wood, a wooden bead necklace, and I have a lot started for a wooden uh, lot, so I will add that in there. And this is actually a rather cool one. I like it. It's pretty neat. I like that one. If you are hiding, we found you. Well, of course I still love you. <laughs> are you talking to me? I, I, I think the lot is great, Monica. It's going to challenge me because I, you know, I usually don't list a lot of necklaces, but I'll be listing a lot of necklaces now because there's a lot in here. <laughs> uh, Monica, Dawn is multitasking. Yeah, what are you talking about, Monica? Uh, this is a really nice uh, braided, like, faux leather thing. Monica got hacked? Oh, no. Monica, did you get hacked? That's not good. Is that what you're talking about? Can I show my face after the box? That looks like Brighton. You mean, you mean after what you sent me? What are you talking about? Um... Hey, if that's if you're talking about my box, you're good. You're good, and plus, um, it was an awesome, awesome charity. I always have to think about that. You know, this the charity is just. I am so happy about the charity. No, I didn't get hacked. Yes, your box, <laughs> Monica. You're so sweet. I, I am. I am happy. I am very happy. Sorry you're having internet problems. This is cool. Yeah, it kind of does look like um, Brighton in a way. Only there's no hearts on it to speak of. Here is another necklace. Um, another kind of a statement neck. A multi-strand kind of a gypsy type looking necklace. Here is, uh, it looks like the box was really good. Yeah, there's some good things in there. Um, I especially, uh, we never find Rolex something. Uh, that's interesting. Monica, this is what, this is in my shop already, and I was super excited about this. It's a, it's a vintage Monet, and, uh, and it's an older piece because you can tell by the, the chain and hook closure, and, uh, yeah, I love I love finding this kind of stuff. So I was super excited about this. I really love that. So that's I've already listed that. Uh, I love Monet too. I love Monet. I love Napier. Uh, I like Trafari. Uh, Coro is okay. I love Signer. I love uh, of course I love Kenneth J. Lane. And Kenneth Lane, same person. Kenneth Lane is even better because that is older. So if it's marked Kenneth Lane, that's better. It's more desirable. You have it in your cart. Good, good, Etta. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I knew it was there. I just, um, I put it back in the shop. I know you found a Kenneth Lane. That's why I said that. Kenneth Lane is better marked Kenneth Lane than Kenneth J. Lane. That means it's older. Bye. Bye again, Mystics. There's Rolex on the thumbnail, Mystics. Yeah, I remember it was big, right? Uh, yeah, this is kind of cool. Um, so, there's that. Um, and there's just this plain, um, I think it's called wheat, a wheat chain. I'm not sure. Um, it's just a plain choker like chain 
Oh, I really like this. I thought it was really interesting. Um, doesn't look like much at first glance. Oh, oh, just knocked something down. That was the antique that fell down. Is this all from the box? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's all from the box. It doesn't look like much from first glance. And, and I thought, um, hmm, you know, it, it's like tri-colored. It's, it's a big choker. It's copper and it's silver and it's gold. And I thought, I wonder if it's real or it's got weight to it. It's real heavy. And it is actually marked. Um, it's, it's signed. Something I never heard of before. And something I looked up and I couldn't find any, any like it. I mean, anything by this maker. Now, if I can find where it's signed again. Hold on just one second. I'm looking. Patty! Oh, my BFF is here. Patty, I can't believe you're in here. Now I'm going to be all, like, nervous because my BFF is here. She's never been in one of my live hauls before. What are you up to? What are you doing? Coming in here to check on me. <laughs> Everybody say hi to Patty. I couldn't live without her. I don't think. I can't read what this is. U U. I think it says U U N A L. U U N A L U. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. So anyway, yeah. U U N A L U. Strange. But uh, it's, a, it's a really nice piece. Thank you for showing up and supporting our friend. Oh. Lonnie, you mean this isn't real life? LOL. <laughs> you guys are crazy. But anyway, I, I really like this piece too. Um, Patty, I won this in an auction. Thank you, Patty. Love you too. Um... This is like a, just a beaded necklace. It'll probably end up maybe in a lot. I'm not sure if I'll sell that on its own or not. I like the colors, though. Oh, I can start to breathe again. Of course you can. Love you, Monica. Um, this is nice. I like this. See this? These little uh, seed beads are glass. I believe they're actually glass. Nice earthy colors. Yeah. I have so many of these types of necklaces though. I need to start doing something with them. I need to start putting them in lots and selling them. Starting the mystery boxes or whatever. Um, I need to start moving them. You like it? Angie is real for sure. Thank you, Lonnie. Thank you, Lonnie. So are you. So is everybody in here, I, I know. Um, I like this. This is really long. Look, at the, look how long this is. It's really a long, long statement necklace. And uh, it's not marked at all, but I, I really like the design on it. You could probably double it if you wanted to. Mystery boxes, yes. Do you think so? I mean, I don't want to seem like I'm just jumping on that bandwagon that it seems like everybody's doing it. Yeah, I like that length, too. I'm not real. I'm a figment of your imagination. Well, I like, the, I like that figment. What is your system for not mixing up your jewelry that's already listed? I have uh, organizers um, that I have it in, and I have, I have them different places. My listed is in one place and my unlisted in another place. Wayne's not nightmarish at all, but I really like this piece. Anyway, that's a modernist geometric shapes for a tunic, yes. And I have another um, pearl necklace that is awesome. I think I showed that in my last haul that has that rope, the spinner pearl on it that's really, really long that has that rope chain. like it a lot too. Dwayne, are you a figment, huh? Okay, Monica, that's funny. 
Uh, this I like. It's a little uh, worn. The metal is a little worn, but I don't know. Angie, how many items would you say you try to list a week? Lately, I've been trying to get my listings bulked up. I've been, <laughs> this is going to sound so sad. I've been trying to list three a day. <laughs> I, I have to do like laundry and stuff. Cease. I have to cook and do laundry and take the dogs out. and It just seems like I, I'm so slow and researching is, is so time consuming for me. I like this. It's, it's actually got Aurora Borealis stones in it. It's a big anchor. My daughter would love that. She loves anything nautical. I save those things for her. I like this too. Like I said though, it's the, uh, there's the finish wear. There is finish wear on it. There's a, there's a good bit of finish wear on it. So I don't know if I can polish it up or if it will sell just like that. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Pretty cool. So there's that. And there is there's this necklace. Hey Barb! Barb! I didn't I didn't send you a message. I should have sent you a message. Told you I was going live. Uh-oh. Elephant just fell off of this one. I have to See if I can put that back on too. I'm not sure if this is going to go in the go in the other bag or not. It's kind of uh, lightweight. It's not real good quality. Your internet's acting up. Uh, Angie will sell pieces you see here. Oh, I miss that. Um, going on grumpy. So mine is too cold, I think. But that's that's a pendant with a bunch of stuff. Got to post in the rant club. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I did. Okay, now these, um, they're pretty, but don't think I can sell them on Etsy unless I put them in a mystery box or something. You're, you're cold and you're in Florida. It's kind of cold here too, I think. These are, see, these aren't uh, old enough. I'm sure this isn't old enough to sell on Etsy. It's pretty, though. So, I love the colors in that. And then there is this blue one. Yeah, that is pretty, isn't it? You want it, Patty? I'll give it to you. I can't sell it. Unless I, unless I put it in a mystery box or something, but. I don't know. Would you wear that, Patty? I don't, I don't really see you wearing that. No, I'm answering Monica. It's 70 here. Okay. It's okay to sell mystery boxes on Etsy. Yes, it is. Um, it is okay. Um, really, I think you should say, though, well, I don't, I don't know. I, th I don't think they have rules about it. You're jealous, Grumpy. This is pretty, too. I always love cobalt blue. But it's a modern necklace, too, so it's not vintage. See, I'm not sure if you can sell a mystery box on Etsy and not have it be vintage stuff. I think it should be, should still be vintage stuff. If you're going to have a vintage, you know what I mean? So, oh, and I got one pin. I think I got one pin, and this is it. It's not marked. And I got... Uh, this rope necklace, which I can put a pendant on that I have a lot of just pendants that are loose. Probably a bag of them. I think this is Premier Designs, and I think the little hang tag fell off of it. But that's pretty. Just a simple necklace. Here's a little pendant that, that did not have a... a uh, chain with it. Don't hate me. It's 54 here and the high of 63. That's about perfect. Sacramento uh, would be perfect uh, perfect weather. Patty, are you still here? Any copper rings? Let me know. Oh, no copper rings. Um, I do have uh, some copper bracelets. Not in this lot, but I have, 
I know you like copper for your um, hands. It rains. You're still here. Look at the. I just. Um, I just have to show Patty this. Patty, look at this. My friend Dawn won that for me. Isn't that awesome? Do you see how old? How? Geez, that's like 50s, 60s. Well, probably 60s, I guess. Maybe 70s. Isn't that cool? She's in Sacramento. She won that for me. The Walton's Radio. <laughs> I never thought of that. <laughs> anyway, I showed that earlier. I don't think you were here, though, earlier, were you? Is Tanya here? I know, Dwayne. It's so great. You should have seen how that was boxed. That was boxed like t four boxes, and there's like eight million uh, peanuts in it, in it, too. There was. It took me like 20 minutes to untangle this thing. When I finally got it un untangled, this is what it was. <laughs> but it was cute. It was cute. I just kept thinking, I'm not giving up. I am untangling it. Hey, Tanya, how are you? Patty, Tanya is the one who lives in, in uh, Texas, and she is the one that I have the jewelry show with on Wednesdays. Uh, every other Wednesday, we usually have a show that goes live. It's called Jewelry Detectives. You remember me telling you about that? And this is the ring, that the one ring that was in there. I like this ring. I shined it up a little bit, but I think I can shine it some more. It's not a high-end ring or anything. Yep. Uh, but... It has some it has some of the finish missing right there, but I think I can put like some I don't know, I'm gonna experiment and put like some black nail polish or something in there and see what happens. Why not? Can't hurt it. It can't hurt it, but it's kind of pretty. I like the color of it. And oh, I went shopping in my store. In my store, I went shopping because I I wore this awesome ring on the on the jewelry show one day. And I'm like, I I want that ring. I don't want to sell it. So I'm keeping it. It's very beautiful and I'm keeping it. I took it out of my shop and said, nah, I think I'm I think that's my ring. I think I want that ring. So it's mine. Yeah, I went shopping in my own store. <laughs> hey Julie, how are you? Thank you. I do love that. It's got the, you know, the marcasites, and I just think it looks, it looks nice on my hand, even though my hand doesn't look so good anymore, but whatever. Now these, let me see what, these are ones that happens to you all the time. <laughs> I know. I know, like that purple ring. <coughs> These are ones that I decided I probably wouldn't sell. Um, don't keep everything like Tanya. <laughs> uh, London, Tokyo, Paris, St. Pete. LOL. They sell these t-shirts with this on. Keep everything. <laughs> Princess Casserole, you do. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I, at first I thought this is kind of cute, but then I'm like, no. So, it's kind of got wear on it. These are, these are, you know, this is bead stuff. Bead stuff, I'm not real enamored with bead stuff. So, what do you do? I mean, somebody, somebody's got to like beads, right? It's just not me. I'm just not, I'm just not uh, a bead person. Carla, it seems like you have been collecting jewelry for a long time. Yes, it does, Carla. And and Monica just bought some reseller mafia shirts. So, do you have a hard time selling things that you don't particularly have an affinity for? June Cleaver. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Wendy. You hoard beads. Now, Jackie, do you hoard beads because you love beads or you hoard them because you just don't want to sell them? You do, Monica. You just hoard them because you, you don't want to sell them. June Cleaver. <laughs> That's my witty friend with the June Cleaver reference. Uh, Kathleen, mostly this past year. Okay, this is kind of nice. These beads are actually weighty. 
They might be stone. I think they are stone. I don't know. I do like collecting glass beads especially. Well, glass beads are different, but, you know, plastic beads are... I... I just don't... I don't... I don't... I just don't find anything special about beads myself so that I find it hard to put them in my shop. If I don't really, really like something myself, I find it hard to list it. I find it hard to say really great things about it, you know, and put it in my shop. So, yeah, sell a bead lot. That's what I'm going to have to do. So this is beads and more beads. These I actually tested to see if they were Bakelite, but they weren't. Hey, Carla. Grandma, how are you doing? Grandma wrinkles. I like this. This is pretty. These are pretty beads. Same here. I, I want to love everything I buy and list. Yeah. I... So... Yeah. Like I said, I think it was my last video... Angie, I do too, but I know not everybody likes the same jewelry. Yeah. Do a grab bag lot. Yeah. I'm going to have to. Because I know somebody likes likes beads. It's, it's not me, but somebody does. And somebody will buy them. The other one is young, pretty little chic. Oh, <laughs> you, you are too. Um... These are kind of neat. I love the color. I love the color of those. You know me in green jewelry. Not that I wear any, but I just think green jewelry's pretty. Stretchy. Stretchy bracelet. Yeah, I like them too, Carla. They're pretty neat. Pretty neat. Do you think... <laughs> Beautiful like jade. Do you think you would do better... Now, I was talking to Carla about this yesterday. Carla, um, Princess Casserole, we were chatting. Um, do you think you would do, I think it was Carla that I was talking to you about, would a color lot be better? Like if you would do like green jewelry, green some green beads all together and some green jewelry all together uh, in a lot? Or do you think just like random colors of beads would do better? Like random, like a whole big lot of different colored beads or would you group them in, in the same color family? Yeah, it was you. That's right. So what would you guys do? Same color family a uh, lot, or would you do a whole bunch of different color um, bead, bead lots? You do lots of similar colors on eBay, a color lot. Okay, that's kind of what Carla was saying. Maybe earth tones and jewel tone lots. Okay. Oh, okay. You had the conversation with uh, Monica also. Yes. Lots, because some people like certain colors and stay away from other colors. That's a good point. Like, some people are cool color people. Remember in the 80s, or was it 80s, when people had that, I'm a hot color and I'm a cool color. Like, I'm a winter and I'm a fall and I'm a spring and all that stuff. Remember that? I haven't thought about that for a long time. I'm a winter, too. Uh, these are... Pink. That's about all I can say about them. They're pink. <laughs> yeah, Angie. Uh oh. <laughs> Angie's hot. I know you wanted to say that instead of ho. <laughs> hot. I knew you were trying to say that. No, I am I am cool. Actually, I want I, I like the winter colors. So the fall colors aren't <laughs> aren't good. <laughs> But this is pink. I'm not even going to go any other place with this. But pink. I went against my color palette and dressing colors. You can't type and crochet at the same time. Oh, you're crocheting. How is the mittens? Are the mittens coming out good? It's Barbie pink. Bubblegum pink. And this is purple. Not even going to go any other place with this. Purple. Self-explanatory. <laughs> now this. This is a real treat. You're passed out. Oh, okay. This is a really a treat. I don't even know. I don't know what to say. What do you, What can you say? 
what? What can you say? This is, I don't know, blue. That's blue. Yeah, I think that, I think that took up about a pound of the box. <laughs> wow, that's as big as your head. I know. I know, you could wear that many places. You could wear that, you could wear that like a bikini bottom or something. That's awesome. You, it, it's awesome, really? You know what? Somebody probably would rock that. Somebody probably would like it. I need tambourines and a grass skirt. <laughs> Someone probably would like that. The red hat ladies might like it. Okay. They might. They might like that. Okay, now this. Yeah. Yeah. Now this is the bag that is, I think, broke. Broken stuff. I dare you to list it. You made a mistake there. You dared me. I'm listing it. <laughs> I'm going to list it now. Yes, it's gaudy, but I bet somebody would buy it. My, yeah, oh yeah, I'm listing it now. It's going in my shop. You double dare me. Oh, that means I'm listing it today. <laughs> list it and tell us if it sells. Okay, this will be my experiment. Oh, it's, it's even got cloth on it, though. I hate listing stuff that's got cloth on it. You know what I mean? Ugh. Cloth that was around someone's head and hair and neck. I don't know. It's, it's not like you can wash it in the washing machine. What about double, dre double dreaded dog dare you? <laughs> I gotta go. I'm listening to it right now. <laughs> Clean the cloth. I will. I will wash it in the sink. I will wash it with, uh, what's that stuff? Woolite. I will put some woolite on it and wash it gently in the sink. How long is that piece? The blue piece? Tell me you want it, Debbie. You want to buy it? You're talking about this? Triple dare. <laughs> oh, no, what happened? Are you still here, Monica? How long is it? You, you don't? I don't know what you're asking. Oh, you were wondering if it's a sash. I don't think so. No, I, I don't. Like a belt. No, I don't think so. I mean. I guess if you're, if you're really skinny. But you'd have to be really, really skinny. I'm not that skinny. But, um, yeah, okay. I guess I'll clean it up and put it in my shop. East African tribal necklace. Oh, hmm. You're coming with the keywords, huh, Patty? Helping me out. Might be able to sell it that way. Hmm. So, yeah, here's the broken lot. Here's the broken stuff. So I don't really need to show you this stuff. Uh, these would have been, <laughs> Patty, you need to be my assistant if you're going to think up some keywords. Yeah, this is what Angie got after beating me out of out of these. <laughs> yeah, and then you grabbed up the next lot for $20 cheaper. <laughs> you're sneaky. You're sneaky, Todd. I really like these. If these wouldn't have be missing stones, they're really nice. But they were missing some stones. Yep, he got one too. Did, the pictures, he put a picture up, Monica. He put a picture of the one he got up. So yeah, this is all, this is all the broken things. Um, yeah, you're drowning in jewelry. I think, Todd, did you get mostly necklaces also? So, and then, you know my little um, bonus bag that I got? The bonus bag had mostly Christmas jewelry in it. So let me show you what the Christmas jewelry was. Todd, I hope you were happy with everything you got from me.
mostly shiny stuff with links and hooks and stones and stuff. <laughs> Todd. Todd, what was in your um bonus thing, Todd? My bonus thing had Christmas stuff in it. Like the Santa pin. It's a Jerry's. Yeah, you like it. We knew you'd like it. Todd so gold to have some great items and not even know it. Yeah, right. Todd, what was in your bonus bag? My bonus bag was 10 solid gold bars. Dang it, I knew I should have picked number one. <laughs> you love that Santa. It's nice that it's still in the box too, isn't it? And you collect, um, you collect Christmas things, don't you, Carla? His had a lot of brand, brand new modern name brand items. Oh, okay. It looks a little creepy. But I think it looks cool. I think it's actually cool. LOL, no, it's actually more jewelry, cool stuff. Okay. Uh, these say, uh, these are actually post earrings that say real garnet, but one of them is the garnet fell out. So, uh, but that's fixable. And this is uh, some some beads, and I guess they're crafting things. And this is kind of a cool bracelet. Just kind of a stretchy but cool bracelet. And these little tiny snowflake earrings. You found a vintage sterling silver necklace! I found sterling in mine too, Todd. I found a, a bracelet. So there, and a necklace, and a necklace. <laughs> and there's this, there's this angel. Uh, there's this really cute competition. <laughs> Angie, since I met you, I can no longer buy or keep stretchy bracelets. <laughs> Kathleen. Oh, it's a competition. Yeah, Todd and me. Between Todd and me. Who who found the who got the best deal? Patty, Todd, and I, Silver Hair Stacker and I bid on uh there was two different lots. They were mystery bags of jewelry. And so he bid on one and I bid on one, and neither one of us knew what was in the bags, and now I'm showing what was in my bag. And he's here and he got the other bag. Uh, you're hoping it's equal. I'm hoping it's equal, too. I think it is. So, uh, that's a little reindeer. This one's really cute. I like this one. This one's very pretty. Really colorful. Yeah, better than candy corn. <laughs> and bra straps that you got in your jewelry jar. This one is marked, uh, this one's actually Dane Craft. Will a jeweler buy a precious... Stone? Did that say? I missed it. I'm not a fast reader. I know people probably watch my videos and say, I all I hear from her is I missed it. I missed it. <laughs> Cause I can't read fast enough. Plus you got a lot of Disney stuff? Well dang it. Uh I got this cute candle pin. Danecraft is a nice brand. Uh I think I think maybe this is Danecraft too. There's another, I know there's two Danecraft things. Oh no, it's this one here, which I couldn't really figure out. It was kind of a mystery to me because I don't know what, I was trying to figure out, are they stones there? Are they supposed to look like that? What is the deal with these things? And I think they're supposed to look like that, but I really don't know what they are. They're not, I guess they're sequins, but they look like also they have little tiny rhinestones in the middle. It's really different. Monica, I was jealous of that Disney lot. It was really nice. Holographic pepperoni. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one, Carla. I listed two Mickey Mouse watches today for $29 each. Well, did you? That is very cute. I like that one. There you go, Todd. I listed my uh, Monet necklace for $50. 
Uh, and I'm gonna list, I'm gonna list this little beauty here that I really love. I'm gonna list it pretty high because I love it. I love it too. Um, and there's this this Christmas pin. And there's this one. This is a Monet pin. This is pretty. I like that bell. It's blue. You don't, you have, if you have any questions, Todd, let me know. Angie, he bought a Disney lot. Oh, okay, good. A lot of vintage ones. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of vintage uh, Christmas ones. And you don't often see blue uh, Christmas pins, so that's that's pretty neat. I mean, usually they're red and green. I like this one. I like this one a lot. This one's marked something. Let me see what it's marked. List the long necklaces. Okay, Etta, I will. Uh, hang on a second till I see if I can see what this is marked. NR. NR, it might be uh might be an Avon piece, I'm not sure. NR. I know I've seen NR before, but I like that. It's a pretty little Christmas ornament. And here's another. Here's a wreath pin marked DM99. It's one of these type pins. And an angel, a Lennox, Lennox angel, not real, not real. Oh, <laughs> I got you, Jackie. Yeah, this is probably what it means, not real, N-R. <laughs> That's like I was in the thrift shop uh, that last haul that I got at that thrift shop and, and she said this is genuine not solid gold necklace <laughs> I thought I got a kick out of that too here's another cute Santa Claus he's very got a very gold face and he was he was a goodwill 99 cent purchase and there's a sparkly Christmas package and I think that was it for the, uh, but, oh no, here's something. Uh, I think the other earrings around here somewhere. It's a pierced earring. NR is Nina Ritchie. Yeah, I knew NR was Nina Ritchie, but I don't, I don't know if that is really, you know, Avon had like Avon for Nina, Nina Ritchie for Avon. So I don't know. I have to do some more research on that. I did know that that was Nina Ricci, but I mean, I did know that there was an NR for Nina Ricci, but I thought that was a really ritzy, high-end uh, brand for some reason. And I don't think this piece is, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm going down the wrong path on that. So I think that's it. I think that's it. So... Now, now that I'm done with that, I want another haul. <laughs> I want more. This is like a never-ending quest for, for opening jewelry. It's like you're never satisfied. Do you feel that too? And it's, it's got to end somewhere because, you know, it's got to... The only problem with my lot is it took me 248 hours to un untangle the necklace chains. <laughs> I get that. Yes, everybody's got the same thing. We have a jewelry jar when we're on Dwayne's channel the beginning of January. Oh, Stephen Stuff, you're killing me. Well, you know I'll have to bid on it because it's from California. California jewelry jars are probably pretty good. They're probably pretty good. So I'll probably have to bid on it. Dang it. <laughs> There's always a shop goodwill. You know, I have not done shop goodwill I probably should but then again I probably shouldn't um Kathleen I missed all that I'm sorry uh-oh I think my husband's coming back and usually expensive to buy yeah and the, the shipping is usually pretty high too I'll take your challenge Kathleen <laughs> 
All right, everybody, have a great and blessed day. Ugh, trays of jewelry right here by my chair. I'm good at staring at it, but not listing. A hoarder. Oh, X film stars. Hmm. Oh. Oh, out in California. Take care. Okay, Pippin is barking at your dog right now. <laughs> Angie, Barb has a fear of missing out. Carla, you're going to end up on hoarders. Ah, uh, Debbie Key says, have a fantastic day. Bonnie says, see you, Angie. And Monica says, love you, Angie. And Jackie says, thanks, Angie. I'll see you soon. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you, Kathleen. Bye, Libby. Bye, Princess Casserole. And a big hug for Etta. Please list it all soon. Everything was beautiful. Okay, been listing jewelry all through your show, Angie. Well, Thelma, good. Okay, my dog's barking. Bye, bye, Barb. Love you too, Patty. Can't wait to see you again. Bye, bye, Carla. Toodles, Libby. And bye, Lonnie. Bye, everybody. Bye, Dwayne, if you're still here. Love you all. See you soon. Uh, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Bye. Have a blessed day.